different things. We have on Wednesday the 5th, there's some talk of fire and your heart. What that's going to mean to me is that you are in the process of doing some type of cleansing. And whether it's intentional or not, it, it would appear that it's very necessary. And I think that what you're, what half of you, it almost feels like are looking at is some type of a cleansing with a relationship that is either literally here and going on, or it's the memory of something and you're letting go. It's resurfacing and you're letting go. For some of you, it feels like it's more about a relationship with a, like a family member or a very, very close friend. And for others, it felt like it was a love partnership. So I think that what's important for you to realize is that anything that is causing you pain but is not growing and does not seem to have any real need or purpose in your life anymore has got to go. And you need to make peace with it. Even if you feel like, you know, the other person didn't give you all the answers, you don't have closure. We don't need closure on everything. Sometimes the closure is literally cutting the cord or cleansing and releasing something. Um, we're not going to, you know, be realistic. We're not going to get the answers to everything in life. And so if you start to decide, if you decide that that's how you're going to live, you're going to end up very, very unhappy and, and uncomfortable. Okay. So just let it, let it go. And I think that, I think that in the process of letting it go and cleansing it out, you're showing self-love and you're raising your vibration and the universe might actually give you some answers and healing that you need through this. And, or it's almost like that person gets replaced or that situation gets replaced. Okay. Friday the 7th, I saw you packing up a truck and getting on the road. Now that's going to mean a couple different things for some of you could be quite literally that you're packing up your truck and getting on the road for others. It's more symbolic of a truck carries a lot of things. Okay. So a truck is a vehicle that shows um, power or a lot of people like to think it does anyways. Um, so it depends on what kind of stickers you hang from it. So it's about you deciding once and for all, I'm taking my stuff and I'm going forward. There's also a sense here that you don't really know exactly where you're going, but the power is really in the vehicle itself. And it's in the fact that you are very capable, you know, you're very capable of taking what is yours, what you've earned, who you are, and creating a new destiny for yourself. So I feel really good about that. And I feel like you're a very uh, independent on that day. Now there is talk on Saturday the 8th of putting money in your bank account, but it also looked like some of you, well, you may be putting money in your bank account more for an investment that's coming up. Others were taking money out of the bank account for an investment. So whichever way you understand that, and if it's not literally happening at that time, it's coming up and you're figuring it out. It's almost like you're mapping it out on paper somehow. Now, on Sunday the 9th and Monday the 10th, we have talk of an investment, okay, which could very well be connected to that, okay? I didn't even realize that they had written that there. So, um, probably, okay, it's probably that. There is some talk of you engaging in this thing and really making it happen. And I feel it being um, like on the go, like it's on wheels, it's moving. So, this isn't a thought anymore. Here we go, we're on the journey. But there was also talk of you leaving time for mom. Now, that could literally be your mother. could be your deceased mother. It could be um, grandmothers or any maternal figure in your life. Check in with them. Listen for them. You'll be hearing from them. And if you're not, make sure that you go out of your way to reach out and give some love and maybe lend uh, an ear there. Okay. On Wednesday the 12th, <clears throat> I saw a sister or a friend. Um, in need. And so there would be someone around you, uh, not necessarily female, but could be someone who uh, taps into their feminine side, a male who does. But this person is definitely sad, definitely grieving. <coughs> and I'm choking. I feel like a closed throat chakra. This person has not been talking about what it is that they're going through. And I think there's a shame element there. There's an element of embarrassment, but there's also a sense of not wanting to face it and they have to. Okay. So make sure that you give enough time for that person on that day. 